hello students welcome to our today lecture in our today lecture we are going to discuss that how to calculate average total cost or average total uh, or average cost and after that uh, we will learn that how to make average cost curve so uh, as we have discussed in our early lecture that average total cost can be calculated by using two different methods we can calculate average total cost by dividing total cost uh, by a number of quantities produced and we also calculate average total cost when we add average fixed cost plus average variable cost so when we divide a total cost by number of unit produced it give us average total cost as you can see that when we are producing one unit our total cost is 3.30 so for the calculation of average total cost we have to divide 3.30 with 1 which give us average total cost of 3.30 dollar and when we are producing two unit our total cost is 3.80 so we have to divide total cost with the number of unit produced 3.80 divided by 2 which give us 1.90 and when we are producing three units our total cost is 4.50 so we have to divide 4.50 with 3 which give us average total cost of 1.50 and when we are producing four unit our total cost is 5.40 so we have to divide this total cost of 5.50 with 4 which give us average total cost of 1.35 and the second method of for the calculation of average total cost is that when we add both of these two averages average fixed cost and average variable cost 3 plus 0 0.3 which give us 3.30 1.50 plus 0 0.40 which give us 1.90 1 plus 0 0.5 which give us 1.50 and go on so these are the two methods uh, for the calculation of average uh, total cost now we will draw the curve for average uh, cost or the average total cost curve. as you can see that on y axis we have taken the cost value and the on x axis we have taken the number of units that are being produced so when we are producing one unit our average total cost is this and when we are producing two unit our average total cost is this when we are producing three unit our total cost is this these are the dotted uh, point which are being taken from the previous table against the cost average cost and and the number of unit that are being produced so after that we have to simply join these curve which covers the average total cost curve or the average cost curve keep in remember that uh, why average cost curve is u-shaped average cost curve is uh, u-shaped because of laws of variable proportion at this point our cost is decreasing and at this point it reaches at minimum point and after that it is increasing average cost curve is decreasing because of laws of increasing return to scale when you when you are a new labor giving you more production as to the previous labor then your average cost is decreasing and at the minimum point your new labor and the previous labor are the marginal product of the labor is constant so that why average total cost curve is at minimum point or constant and when average cost curve is start to increasing the reason is behind that it is law of decreasing return to scale now your new labor giving you uh, less production as compared to the previous labor so uh, you all you can also say that your marginal product of labor is decreasing so that's why average total cost is increasing from after this point so that's why average cost curve is u-shaped because of law of variable proportion